shall shortly mm -hmm. describe in your okay. lecture. And perhaps uh, I'll come up with some questions. Yes, we'll see. Virtual Museums is based on the real-time CG computer graphics, 3D computer graphics. And uh, what I tried to do is, what I did is uh, to model the entire museum space in a very high quality and uh, also uh, artworks like uh, paintings and the uh, drawings and sculpture and digitized in a very, very high resolution. And I put those art uh, data of the pictures and drawing into the virtual museum space and a display that space in a very high resolution 4K and 8K display uh, system and so that a user can walk through in the, in the 3D space freely to see the paintings and the artworks even even it's a 3D object in a very high resolution and high quality way so that's what I'm doing. The other version of my virtual museum is, is a customizable and personalized uh, museum. And that's the idea is quite simple. So you have a lot of favorite pictures and favorite artworks and uh, many things. And uh, there are so much uh, data and digitized data is available on the internet or on your hard disk and everything. So you put all the favorite uh, data of your things into the software and then the software do everything and output one single your personalized uh, virtual museum. So that's uh, only one in the world. So because it's uh, the everything, so all the display and the exhibits are your favorite ones. So I, I might, uh, what I'm trying to do is uh, to make a cu custom made uh, virtual museum. So that's uh, probably uh, the next step. And also I, I uh, al already uh, developed and uh, achieved uh, some, so in some level of that things. But in the, in the future, I try to extend this uh, technology to not only for 4K and 8K ultra uh, gorgeous system, but also to uh, people on the internet and, uh, and uh, use that service very freely to enjoy themselves and appreciate your favorite things in your, in your own manner. So that's what I'm do, uh, trying to do in the future. And the next target is, uh, I think it's, I imagine that the museum space is very solid and uh, fixed and everything. It's a real museum where you cannot build, rebuild and everything. But the virtual museum is made by CG, computer graphics. That means that it's very, very, could be very flexible. So uh, room, si room of the sides, height of the ceiling, and everything can be adapt can be adaptive to the the to the artwork which is displayed in the space. So um, that's the next target uh, uh, for me. So for for instance, if you want to display the very very big thing, like I don't know the Tokyo Tower or something, and then the the the, the CG museum space is is going very big like a Tokyo Tower, like a 300 meter. So that's what I'm trying to do. And I also, if you favorite thing is it's very very tiny, then the museum space is very very tiny. So it's quite like it can be adaptive because it's in computer graphics. So that's I'm I'm trying to do is a flexible rubber rubber like museum. It's a next target. Yeah.